Disaster has struck again in the provinces of Sindh and Balochistan in southern Pakistan. Monsoon rains have caused flooding that has affected more than five million people and left nearly two million people without homes. When the floods hit, the affected areas were still recovering from massive floods that in 2010 destroyed houses, swept away crops and ruined infrastructure. 35-year-old Najma, a mother of three, said that she wants to return to her home. The waters will recede one day and I will certainly go home. We will need water pumps there. We also need livestock for milk. I get 250 grams of flour in exchange for a bag full of fodder grass. What can I do with such little flour? The inundated lands are now no longer fertile. Houses have collapsed and the main road has been destroyed. Miran, a 40-year-old widow and mother of six, said that she is desperate to have an opportunity to earn again and feed her children. Our houses have collapsed and our lives are hollow. Innocent children are starving. Crops have been washed away. There are so many mosquitoes here. Children are suffering from malaria, diarrhea and other stomach infections. We don't have the means to fight diseases. Our livestock is dead. In response to the crisis, a $357 million rapid response plan was launched by the United Nations in September 2011 to provide life-saving relief and help with recovery. In partnership with the government of Pakistan, the United Nations Development Programme provided pumping units to affected villages, as well as implementing cash-for-work rubble removal projects targeting more than four million people affected by the floods. UNDP is also working with Pakistan's national and provincial disaster management authorities to help communities become more resilient to future flooding. Kamlesh Kumar is the eldest of three sons. Like many, he hopes that one day the people of Sindh and Balochistan will prosper once more. The floods took away all the crops in our fields and our animals, but now with help and support we'll be able to get our livelihoods back and lead better lives again.